It was a quiet, even commonplace evening in St. Margaret's village, as captured by the surveillance camera at village grocer Ping An Lee. But the calm didn't last, and pretty soon, that very same surveillance camera captured a strange occurrence. An eyewitness, who preferred to remain off-camera, told us what happened. I'm led by my gate when I see the man no one get up, then I try to lift him up. So I come and see what, I put on my mask and I can see what it happened. But when I reach the man, I made a foam up one lot. So I tell some of them, boy, make them please pick up and put on to sit down. Make it could breathe because he can't breathe. He can't breathe. So they managed to help me and then put on right there. And they start to clean and then get water. But he couldn't drink the water. Come so on and pour the water, the water will come out. Well, with the other two, then I don't go on when I call and the next one, he got home the run. The one in a white. But the next one, the car carer. I'm only interested with this one, yeah, because I know him for a long time. That's why I'm interested in this one, yeah. Then for his boss man come the run, he say, what happened? Then we tell him, see, he, he's sick. Then he say, he's in Corona Hospital. So he can get a vehicle, then he come. And he care. He's still alive. So three men and one girl, then put him in the car. Turn the gun when they reach hospital, then say, I'm 10 minutes after that, he's dead. We got a similar account this morning from ACP Joseph Maivet. But he says that it may not be as simple as excessive drinking. That person who had passed away is one Augustine Rivas, 59 years. And the other two persons are Marlon Sajet, 27, and Manuel Gonzalez, 64 years. Um, what the police know so far is that these persons are residents of St. Margaret Village on the Hummingbird Highway. and that. They were at an open lot outside of an establishment and may have ingested um, some liquid which caused them to be foaming. Um, Investigators did visit the scene last night and are back again on the scene this morning to conduct further investigations into this matter. What we were also told is that these persons have been drinking for the last six days consecutively in that area. So we are trying to determine whether or not um, whatever it is that was ingested was ingested accidentally or otherwise. Mr. Sajet was treated and released. He's the younger of, of them, he's 27 years old. Whilst Mr. Gonzalez is at the Carl Wishner Memorial Hospital in a critical condition. And while it was reported that police took over two and a half hours to arrive on the scene, ACP Maivet says that if that's the case, there is an explanation. So there were reports that police took an extensively long time to get there? Um, I do not know that that is the case. What happened in these cases, the scenes of crime um, officers would usually as well go so that a scene can be processed and um, i am aware that a police station is in saint margaret village and officers are stationed there so i do not know that that was the case our eyewitness says that the officer stationed in the village did his best but that without a car there wasn't much that he could do the police come in kala so he come by cycle but he no got no vehicle up on cycle so he can help boy it's good that he may come check and say what happened and then he buy water and he give we make we give the man and then we wet him to wipe his face. Then he buy the water who help the man. Sherry's Halsell, seven news.